Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to be going through the Zamrock Molnar money making method. And this is one of the best beginner money making methods in the game. There are very little requirements and you can make anywhere up to 15 mil per hour, which only really depends on how attentive you are while doing this method. So now looking at the requirements and recommendations for this money making method, First off, required is making history quests, so you do need that quest completed along with the meeting history quest. And then once you have these two quests completed, you can complete the enchanted key mini quest. Basically, there is going to be 22 different locations that you will need to gather treasure from using the enchanted key. It actually does take a little bit of time to complete this mini quest, but once it is completed, you can then go ahead and get the Zamorak Milnors. As for the recommended items, you will want the Clan Vexillum. This allows you to teleport to the Clan Camp, which is going to be a step towards getting the Zamorak Molnar. A Ring of Dueling is really helpful as well. You can buy them on the Grand Exchange. You'll be able to teleport to Het's Oasis using the Ring of Dueling, which is where you will get the Zamorak Molners. The Archaeology Journal is also pretty helpful. It will teleport you to the first location where you will be able to get the Guthix Molner. And of course, Bladed Dive and Double Surge are helpful since it will allow you to move around a little bit faster and complete these runs just a little bit quicker. Now, the Zamorak Molners, you're probably wondering why they are worth so much money. Right now, they're listed at over 300k on the Grand Exchange and selling for right around 280k. Now, they are worth so much because, as you can see, they have a 1 in 4 chance at disassembling into Zamorak components. If you don't know, Zamorak components are highly valuable. They're used to get perks like devoted, impatient, and imp souls. So it is a really valuable component for a lot of players, which is why the Zamorak Molners have a pretty high value. Now, as for the gear setup, as you can see, I am using full archeology span outfit. It isn't really needed, but it will allow you to teleport to the archeology span campus, just like the archeology span journal. Uh, the key essential items is that clan Vaxillum, uh, the Traveler's Necklace, the Ring of Dueling, and of course, the Archaeology Journal. You will want to have both a man hand and an off hand equipped, so you can use Bladed Dive as well. And in the inventory, you will want some spare Rings of Dueling, Traveler's Necklace. You can also bring some Acceleration Power Bursts. This will allow you to refresh the Surge cooldown whenever you need it. And then also just bring a spade, some magic note paper, and you can bring a noted Zamorak Molnar if you want. As you can see, I tried out this method and I was able to sell these Zamorak Molners for 280k each by insta-selling. So you can see that you will make a lot of profit per hour since you're going to be able to get around 50 to 60 of these per hour. Now in terms of the steps, you probably are aware of how it works, especially if you have completed the Enchanted Key mini quest. But step one is going to be to talk to Joral at the outpost. You can teleport to the outpost using the Traveler's Necklace. Now, you will want to make sure that you drop all of your Molners before talking to Joral. Um, this will allow you to enable the chat options. So if you drop them and talk to them, you will be able to select the option two and then one and that will get you the enchanted key so you can go hunt for more. Step two is to dig for the Guthix Molnar. Now here you will want to teleport to the archeology span campus. Now to get here, it is a little bit of a run so you will want to use Surge. There is an ideal spot to use it which you will see when I go through a walkthrough of this method. And you'll want to dig under the tree in this picture. This is where you will get the Guthix Molnar so you can move on to the next step. You can drop or disassemble the Guthix Molnar since it is worthless basically and you will need to drop it at some point or get rid of it to get a new enchanted key. Step three is collecting the Ceridomen Molnar. So after you get that Guthix Molnar, you can use the Clan Vaxillum to teleport to the Clan Camp. 
Now you can disassemble or drop the Ceridomen Molnar as well. It will give you the Ceridomen components, so I do recommend disassembling it. Um, and as you can see, I have circled it on red where you will want to dig. And I'll be showing you in the walkthrough as well. Now, step number four is going to be getting the Zamrock Molnar. Things to know, you will want to use the Ring of Dueling to teleport to the Hats Oasis. From here, you can run a little bit northwest to the circle on screen. Um, as you can see, you will be able to get the Zamrock Molnar here by digging in this location. And then you can use the Magic Notepaper on that to note it. And then you can move on to the final step, which is basically just to repeat all of them. So again, drop the Molners and talk to Joral. You will be able to select the option 2, then 1, and you will get the Enchanted Key back again to repeat all of these steps. So now I'll go through a quick walkthrough just to show you each step actually in game. So first step is to drop the molars that you have and talk to Joral, select the option two, then one. Then you'll teleport to the archeology span campus using your archeology span journal and go to the next dig location, which is right next to this tree here. Um, then you can dig. You can also put the spade on your action bar that way you can dig just using a keybind as well. The next step is going to the clan camp using the clan Vexilum and digging in the location right here. So that will get you the Guthix and the Ceridomen Molnar. The next step is going to get the Zamorak Molnar, which is right next to the Summoning Obelisk. Um, so you can dig here and you'll get that one. Then again, you can go back to the outpost. You'll need to drop your Molners, and then you can talk to Joral again and select the option two and one and get the enchanted key. So you will just want to repeat this over and over and keep on collecting these Zamorak Molners. If you are really efficient with it, you can get about one Zamorak Molner every minute or so. Um, for me personally, it took more like a minute 10 to a minute 15 but again I wasn't focusing my full attention on it and if you really did you probably could do it a bit faster but just to play it safe let's say you are able to get about 45 of these per hour and I insta sold them for about 280k so that would make it about 12.6 mil per hour if you were able to do a, a bit faster and get 50 of them per hour that would be about 14 mil and of course the faster you get them the more gp per hour it would be so as you can see this method is an exceptional money making method you can easily get over 10 mil per hour doing it and there are very little requirements only a few quests and a mini quest which also don't have too many prerequisites so anyway guys, that is all I have for you in this guide. I really hope you found it helpful and hopefully for all of you newer players, if you're looking for some easy ways to make some pretty fast money, then hopefully this will be able to help you guys out. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.